Hello beautiful people, hope you're having a great weekend. Let's start off with fixing the metal flake. What's going to be next? We're going to have to address the orange peel that it has. Let me show you up close, see how close I can get you so that you can see. Right here, I hope the camera's picking it up. It's very, very rough, almost like uh, sandpaper, but that's to be expected for this kind of metal flake. Now, if you put like micro metal flake, you won't have any issues with this, but uh, let's just fix it. Now, I did had a couple of uh, comments regarding this uh, sprayed metal flake saying that it looks, doesn't look shiny, it looks blurry. It looks it, nothing like a custom job. Guys, this is just the beginning. You, When you apply this much metal flake, you are going to have this type of finish. But it's to be expected. After this, you do have to sand it down and uh, prepare it for whatever is going to be coming up next. Either the graphics or the, the candy, what I'm going to be applying. So this is just the beginning. Now, once I finish it up, smooth it down, you're going to end up with this. Real nice, smooth finish, and you're ready to go. Now, I'm going to show you how to acquire this finish, have it ready, so that you can apply your graphics, you can apply your uh, candies, you can apply whatever you're going to do to the car. All right, before I start showing you the process of getting it to this point, I, uh, I already finished all this side. I still need the top and I still need this side, which I'm going to do right now. The thing is, this is what you need to get. It's called a like nighting quick check. This is going to eliminate a lot of headaches, guys. Once you turn out to this point, this is what you need to do. I get the quick check and just apply it. This is going to give you the illusion that it has clear coat. Okay? And there it is. You wanted your metal flakes. You wanted it smooth. There it is. Okay? So, um, it's a real nice product. I'll leave uh, a link to where I got this from. But, this is going to tell you, even if you have body work, you can use this product. Let's say when you primer it and block it down, you can use this in order to have it uh, seem that it has clear coat already. And you'll see if your, your body work is done correctly. But there it is. All right, let's get to the process as to how I got this finish with the metal flake. Another thing, guys, this is not oil based, so it's not damaging anything on the car. Uh, you still have to wax and grease remove it before uh, applying your paint like any other uh, uh, item. But this is not uh, oil based. So don't worry about, oh, it's going to react with when I start applying the graphics or the candies. No, it's not. It's a real nice product. I recommend it 100%. Right. First of all, you are going to need the DA and you are going to need an interface pad. I do not recommend you sanding the metal flake without an interface pad. You are going to cut through and go straight to the metal. So get yourself an interface pad with a 320 grit sandpaper. I already have one on the, on the DA, but this is it. It's a 320 grit sandpaper, what I'm going to be using right now. All right, let me show you. It's not going to be going at a full speed on the DA. It's going to be going half, like halfway, okay? You just hear the sound uh, so that you know that it's not full speed on the, on the DA. And go slow on these edges right here. I'm not going to cross all the way across. I'm going to stop a little bit, and that's where I'm going to start uh, working my way all these, these edges. These are the worst edges that can you can cut through. So you just go slow where the edges are at.
all you are trying to do is eliminate this orange peel right there. If you can see it, that is all you're trying to do. Once it gets, well, I don't have it yet, but once it gets real smooth, you just keep on going. Don't continue in that area because you're going to burn through. Just keep on going until everything is smoothed out like this area right here. So let me continue with this so that you can see. But I'm trying to eliminate the orange peel. Right after everything has been sanded with the 320 right there you can see all the orange peel has been removed I have not jumped to this side yet but everything has been removed in this area now I'm gonna come back with 600 okay and sand it down again real smooth and that'll be the, the final sanding it'll stay at 600 grit Right after the 600 has been uh, done, you're ready to check your work. And there it is. Nice, straight, the way it's supposed to. Now, finish up the whole car. All right, and after a couple of hours of sanding, everything is done. You can see it right there, nice and smooth. All I gotta do now is pressure wash the car so that I can uh, remove all the, the dust that it has. And uh, that's it, sand all these little parts by hand. All the little edges and go from there other than that car is gonna be good to go I'm gonna do something real different I'm gonna be painting the outside first I usually paint the inside the door jams and everything first with candy and then do the the outside but this time I'm gonna do it the opposite I'm gonna be doing the outside first I'm gonna show you how to tape it up after Everything is done. Tape it up so that you don't get any overspray or anything on the on the outside paint when you're going to be painting the gems. So that's coming up soon. But the car, the car should be ready for that candy paint already. And um, I still need to paint all these. I need to put metal flake, uh, strip it down from this uh, color. These go all the way in the corner. I need to strip it down and uh, put some metal flake on it before I paint the car because this part goes uh, on the outside and if I paint it separate you're gonna notice it you're gonna notice the difference so everything that's gonna be on the car needs to be on the car uh, the only things that I'm not gonna be painting on the car is gonna be the handles the mirrors and I believe this part this part I think I'm gonna be painting it but other than that, uh, the back, this little portion's right here. I have them right there. I do need to fix them up so that I can install them. That way when I paint the candy, it'll go straight to, 
to that piece. All right. All right. And this will be it. This will be it for this video. I hope you are uh, picking up some little tips and tricks as to what I'm doing now. Nice and smooth. So it's ready. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not a... Uh, haven't subscribed yet it's free hit that thumbs up doesn't hurt at all it's also free and uh this will be it all right guys thank you i'll see you i'm gonna be posting another video a q a video um probably on wednesday so if uh, you have some questions as to what i did or what is it that i need to what you need to do next um I'll answer them on Wednesday, okay? I'll be leaving a video for Q&A, and, &A and uh, I'll, I'll be answering those questions. So leave your questions on the comments below so that you can, uh, you can have that question answered. All right? Thank you, guys. Like always, God bless.